This property goes all the way down to that stop sign. It's on a little over three acres. Beautiful park-like setting. Owner planted a lot of trees. Now we're gonna come over to the house. So it would be like the living room, dining area, kitchen, means all appliances and looks like a few upgrades and get rid of some of that wallpaper. Here's the laundry room. Something going on with the floor right here looks a little weak. Not sure what's happening there. Full bath right here. Oh, by the way, back door right there. Nice large, extra large tub. A couple of closets in here. And now we're going to go down the hallway. This is kind of like a little hallway, a little closet area. Now this door looks really, really thin, but a huge, huge room in here. So I imagine this would probably be a good master, uh, master bedroom. The um, frames around the windows are really thick, so I'm thinking this is actually a block, concrete block house. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. Okay, so now we're getting to like the family room. With that closet being right here, if this was walled off, this could easily be another bedroom and maybe even wall off the staircase. And you could pretty much wall it right here and wall it right straight down the staircase and this would be a pretty sizable bedroom. All right, going upstairs. There's two sleeping areas up here, but I don't think they're technically bedrooms. Um, this could easily be a sleeping area. Looks like at one point there was a skylight there that they eliminated that. Okay, so come back around this way. Okay, and, and this would be a bedroom right here. Okay, so we have bedroom number two. And as we go for a little further, we have a great little storage closet. Of course, I don't know. This has a very small, has a window and a closet and a door. So this would actually be a bedroom also. Here is the upstairs bath. It's a full bath. Toilet, sink. Full shower. Okay. Then if this was walled off, this could easily be another bedroom. So there could be three bedrooms up here. Technically we have two because we have to have a door. So there's the closet already and nice little bedroom area. So we, one very teeny tiny bedroom, full bedroom over here. This could be actually expanded into a rather large upstairs bedroom or just leave it like this, like a loft area. Okay, so let's go outside. We'll go around the back of the house. The roof, the neighbors say, are about, is only about two or three years old. I don't see any signs of leaks or anything like that. All right. 
Okay, so back out to the front of the house. Okay. So there's the house. We have some peeling paint, so it looks obviously like we need to paint it. Got some tree limbs into the side of the house that would have to be removed and pulled back. Beautiful, beautiful property. Just like a park here. A little highway noise. I don't know if you can hear that in the video. I think we're really close to 465 right here. Okay, so here we are. There's a second shed back there. Okay, here's the house from the back side angle. Squishy ground, it's been raining a lot. I did notice two dead trees, one up there in the front and one right here is dead. That would have to be taken care of. All right, we got a back shed right here. Again, let's kind of survey. There's a there's a light right there, a street light. And the back of the property has a three car carport. And then all this land back there. So okay, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Back porch.